Okay, so uh, now it's a little bit later, and I obviously, yeah. And so um, I render it again, and what I did basically, I hided a few trees, like you see here, and I moved the camera a little bit, and I made this tree bigger, and uh, so I can show you the process of the rendering whatever we did and I've, it's crashed on me so uh, this was the first render and then here let me okay so this was the first render and then we had um, let me just uh, first render uh, second render is this one which with the trees just uh, just a little bit higher so something like this and the third one is this one this is the third one okay so I just wanted two trees to like uh, you know um, get uh, like frame it frame the frame this and because this is a smart object so all I need to do to maintain all the setting I drag all this and if I if I click alt I will still keep it on the old one and I'll give it new so now now it looks much better I think it's uh it looks much better the only thing now I feel like this is a little bit more orange uh, like yellowish orange uh, too alive so I'm gonna go back to the um, I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna try to adjust it a little bit maybe to here Um, I also can go to selective color let's see um, the green it's here and I can take the green and like make it a little bit like more green so that was before and this is after like this so this is all here and other than that uh, I think I want a, a little bit uh, darker uh, and uh, what else uh, a little bit more maybe uh, c contrast okay so basically this is before after let's see how this works out so again I'm not a big fan of the this uh, this green so let's see what we can do um, it needs to look more like that green and uh, uh, what we can do to make it look like I can put a selective color um, I can put a selective color and maybe here this is this sh this should do uh, do it better uh, and maybe I can just adjust the background um, so let's see this actually this is uh, yeah I can I can just and here maybe with the color balance uh, with uh, just give it a little bit more green okay yeah this is much better okay and now here we oh that okay so now with this um, we can maybe take this a little bit lower I want some some uh, I I want to try maybe to uh, uh, 
yeah I want to try maybe to uh, flip it and see how how this works now this is less good okay this is uh better and yeah just just like that this is this is oh, good okay now one thing I, I want also to do is I want maybe to uh, I'll, I'll bring the color um, material material ID and I'm gonna put it on the top so I can see it and I'm gonna select with the magic tool this blue and I'm gonna do similar and now I have all the grass selected right and I'm gonna add a layer and I create a mask so basically whatever I do it's now only going to the grass and I'm gonna um, let me think how should I do it maybe I just wanna put some fade let's try a few options I'm gonna try with with here once again I by mistake um, let's try with some white like this and now uh, let's do it like screen and uh, this doesn't serve the purpose um, I'm not sure that I I'm, I like it so much. Let's try different options. Yeah, it's it's better. And what else we can do is we can we can uh we can select it with control maybe here um okay so the way i'm gonna do a control d i'm gonna add mask to this one and select this and maybe blur it just a little bit let's do maybe f uh opacity let's maybe do 30 and what i'm gonna do x um yeah i i want I want just to to blend it in. Sorry. To blend it in uh, a little bit better. I'm just. Yeah, that's this is terrible. So uh, I have an idea. Uh, let's just delete this. The, actually, that was. Um, uh, let's let's do it like this. Let's do it a hundred percent. Okay, so on this side, it goes really, really nice. Yeah, this side is awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? There we go. Yeah, so basically a little bit blending here. that pull okay so this side is is better um, maybe if what I can do here is basically um, 
just uh, do the opposite and on the mask maybe one second maybe add some white to here and this will blend it even better yeah I think this will help and okay so uh, now I have this yeah, I think it's good just put it a little bit lower just like that and on this side this is pretty bad so <clears throat> I'm gonna um, just go like this and here I'm just gonna go like this and I feel like it should like finish like here something like this and yeah I'm, I'm not so good and doing two things together so I hope uh, by the way, I want to thank who, uh, if everybody that comments. That's really fun uh, to read your comments and uh, to reply. Okay, so I I think uh, I think it looks awesome. Yeah. I think I'm very happy. Okay, so what we want to do now is to Control Alt Shift E convert everything to a new layer so now I have a layer that everything here and I also will convert it to a smart object and now I'm gonna go to Nikki collection and the first option basically I'm gonna put some effects some set of effects just to um to get um get it a nice smooth so basically the way I deal with it I first I, I I shut up everything I uh, shut up I um I turn off everything then I start with the details so uh, this is the details uh, and then maybe a little bit brightness contrast maybe like this saturation just just a notch um, lens yeah that could help since we have something like this size maybe just a little bit bigger Uh, dirt and smudges I don't want uh, fill type uh, it's possible it's good to uh, to add this but what I find is just to put just a tiny bit uh, strength so this is without this is with it's very hard to look now you click here you go to the camera collection okay if you don't have this is a plugin for Photoshop it's Nikki collection now this and the last few version cost money so you can still get the old version the free one I, I don't know which one it is you just need to search it it's, 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 it's possible to find so um, uh, yeah light leak this is very nice to add to uh, this even uh, because it's a day scene just also again the strength just just a little bit maybe seven something like this okay so this is before this is after I don't know which one you like better but I think this one looks really nice just a little bit less of that and then you just click OK and because it's a smart option 
So basically, this is the rendering. Um, yeah. So uh, I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll just export this. Um, yeah, it's a little bit grainy here. But other than that, and I think because I didn't use the denoiser one, but I can do the whole process really quick with the denoiser one because I uh, I have it all with with because it's all all with um, with uh, smart objects. So basically, here I I I'm putting this, and then I I can uh, drag this to here. And this is basically, and now I'm gonna control shift E, convert it to smart object. I'm gonna drag this. Basically, if you work this way, so to do revision, revision, it just a matter. So it's still very grainy. Let's see the difference you can actually see here I guess if I if I have done more resolution this wouldn't happen but um, this is just uh, um, this for the sake of the tutorial okay so what we have here basically what I don't like on this rendering I don't like this tree and I don't like this tree this tree trees and and V-ray uh, for SketchUp doesn't come out so good. So if I really want, I can find maybe a tree that I have, uh, and maybe replace it. So I think no, this is not a, a good tree. Um, yeah, this one I use a lot and. It's a very high quality tree. Let's see if it's possible to just drop it in and will this will work? This won't work. Okay, but it's possible to add it on I don't know whatever okay so uh, this is this for this video thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe comment you know it helps if you want more detail uh, videos like this and just let me know and yeah keep it real